everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mimi. I hope you're having a great day. And guys, we're going to be talking all about the Christmas update, which will be in game in about two weeks or so. And more specifically, what we're going to be talking about is the advent calendar. We're going to be taking a look back to see what items that we did get and what did we get in door number 25. Before we get going though, guys, make sure that you are subscribed with those notifications turned on. And let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so here we go. You had to be playing the game for at least five minutes before you could claim your advent calendar prize. So you'll want to teleport over to door number one. And inside we got the Uncommon Gingerbread Face Flying Disc, which was a toy for our pets. Yeah, and door number two, we've got 300 books. And behind door number three, we got three, 3,000 gingerbreads, which was really good because the price of the items we had to buy was a lot. Door number four was the festive top hat, which was uncommon pet wear. Behind door number five was 300 books. I didn't actually record filming that for some reason, so there's number two again. Behind door number six was the rare festive scarf, which was pet wear. Behind door number seven, we got 4,000 gingerbread. Again, thank you without me, we needed it. Behind number eight, we got the pickle elf chew toy, which was an uncommon toy. And behind door number nine, we got another 300 books. Behind door number 10 we've got the translucent tea portion. I don't think I actually ever used mine. It may still be in my inventory. Behind 11 we've got the common festive star pin which was pet wear. Behind number 12 we've got another 5,000 gingerbread. Again, much needed. Number 13 we got the rare icicle pogo stick. Number 14, we got two of the big brew portions. Again, I don't think I actually ever used them. Maybe I did, I'm not quite sure. Number 15, we got another 300 bucks. I do wish they would have kept it just um, the gingerbread. Behind door number 16, we got the uncommon candy cane grappling hook, which I absolutely love. Behind number 17, we got another 5,000 gingerbread. And then we go to door number 18, which we got the festive stocking shoes, which are rare and they are absolutely adorable. I mean, look at that. That little paw print. So cute. My favourite hat, which is the eggnog hat, which is uncommon and looks so amazing on your mouse. We've got 300 bucks again behind door number 20. Behind door number 21, we've got candy cane pet wear, which was uncommon. I missed door number 22, but it was a gingerbread throw toy. So behind door number 23 we have 10,000 gingerbread which was the most that we actually got in the advent calendar. Christmas Eve door number 24 was the festive ice skate which were rare. And then of course behind our Christmas day door number 25 was the ultra rare St. Bernard dog. He is absolutely adorable. You could see him all the way through and we just waved to him through the glass and he was so cute. So guys, that's it. What do you think? We got a sum total of 27,000 gingerbread. So if they do the same again, don't get too stressed with all the gingerbread because you will hopefully get some in the advent calendar if they do it. We also got a total of 1,500 books, which can't be moaned at, but I do wish they would have just kept to the gingerbread currency in the advent calendar. I mean, although we did get the ultra rare St. Bernard, I was a little bit disappointed at the fact that we didn't really get anything higher than an ultra rare, which was the St. Bernard. Other than that, everything was uncommon, common or rare. I think they could do something a little bit better in it maybe this year. If they do it, Adopt Me haven't confirmed that they're going to be doing it and they haven't denied that they're going to be doing it either. I hope that they do do it. The whole winter event actually lasted for 31 days, so even after the advent calendar finished on Christmas Day, the winter event was still in game for you to get yourself some more gingerbread and claim some more prizes. One of the main sought after pets that was in the game was the Puffin. 
which is this little guy here and he cost a ridiculous 1200 gingerbread man so you can understand that not many of these got purchased i managed to get myself five of the little dudes i have yet to make him neon i'm waiting for my next rgb daily task to make a neon and there he'll be all in his glory i wonder what it actually looks like in neon i've not actually ever checked that should we have a little look gonna be yellow isn't it you all know that I hate that color let's have a see so there he is in normal oh he's blue yeah I'm not overly keen on that one either and then obviously there he is in his Megan form there's probably not many of these guys around because 120,000 gingerbread oh my goodness that was a lot <laughs> all right guys that's all for today's video once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, butterflies.